found deep within the planet, not indeed the extreme troubles of mining, can keep people down from the unknown chunks of precious grain. gravestone that have been accounted of utmost value since even the most elderly lives. These precious headstones, similar as diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and jade, are an everlasting symbol of worth and luxury. Today, we'll be talking about most expensive jewels in the world. Before starting this video subscribe to our channel. Throughout history, jewels have been transferred through the hands of royalty and socialites likewise, occasionally indeed blessed from one to the coming. Their financial worth reaches such extreme heights because of the demand of these jewels among the heavy, royal, and big name. Here are the six most expensive jewels in the world. Number 6. Blue Moon of Josephine, $48.4 million This diamond was purchased in 2014 by the convicted felon fugitive Hong Kong billionaire Joseph Lau Wen Hung. He purchased it for his seven-year-old daughter Josephine, after whom he termed the gravestone. It has 12.03 carats and bring the felon dollar 48.4 million, the most per carat a diamond of any color has it all retailed for. The Blue Moon of Josephine, caught on in 2014, is another diamond from the gold mines of South Africa. With a delicate crystal blue shade, when it was set up in the rough by Petra Diamonds, it was 29.6 carats and tough to miss. Its current possessor Lao grew a felon that equal time for buying a former minister in Macau. He's not serving occasion in jail and remains a fugitive because Macau and Hong Kong don't have a repatriation agreement. Number 5. Lincomparable Diamond Necklace, $55 million. Set on a bed of 18K gold are 407.48 carats of diamonds that make up the incomparable diamond necklace. At its center is the largest internally indefectible unheroic diamond known, which is about the size of an egg. It's presently the most precious necklace in the humanity, possessed by Mawawad, a Swiss and Emirati luxury goods company, being vended for $55 million bones. As of 2013, the large diamond at the center of the choker has a bit an unusual history. A youthful girl in the Democratic Republic of Congo discovered it aimlessly in a pile of mining debris roughly 30 times a gone. Number 4. Oppenheimer Blue. $57.50 million. Termed after Philip Oppenheimer, the Oppenheimer Blue weighs 14.62 carats. It's a delineated blue diamond with an emerald cut. This diamond holds closely the equal record as the pink star it has existed titled the largest fancy vivid blue diamond by the Gemological Institute of America. The history of the Oppenheimer diamond is mainly a riddle, unlike than the reality that it was mined nearly in South Africa. Likely eventually in the primal 20th century. Farther points are unknown because it's allowed to have come from one of De Beers' mines, and that company has closed its libraries. What's known is the record of the gentleman whose name the diamond has held. The Oppenheimer family has been famed in the diamond business for further than a century. The diamond was termed specially for Sir Philip Oppenheimer, who acquired the gravestone as a gift for his woman, though details about when that happened and how important was paid are also not known. He failed in 1995, and the first sale with this diamond took place in 1999. 
At this time, it counted slightly more, at 14.71 carats. Before we move on to the next jewel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Number 3. Pink Star, $71.20 million. The Pink Star Diamond is 59.6 carats, though it was firstly cut from a 132.5 carat rough diamond. It was mined by a famed, transnational pot of diamond miners, De Beers, in 1999 from South Africa. After 20 months of slice, the Pink Star took its current shape. The Gemology Institute of America has graded this gravestone as the largest internally faultless, fancy vivid pink diamond understood to this day. Before it came the Pink Star, this rare gemstone was understood as the Steinmetz Pink, where it was showed off at the Smithsonian Institute as part of its exhibition. The Brilliance of Diamonds In 2017, it was auctioned at $71.2 million to Chow Tai Fook Enterprises in Hong Kong. Number 2. Peacock Brooch, $100 million the peacock brooch made by Graf Diamonds may not own relatively as important history as the Hope Diamond. But its value is approximately $100 million nevertheless. It was first released in 2013 at the Tefaf Art Show in the Netherlands. The brooch, shaped like a peacock with banged feathers, contains an aggregate of 120.81 carats and over 300 gravestones in white, unheroic, blue, and orange diamonds. A veritably rare, dark blue pear-shaped diamond sits at the center, and a lone summation's 20.02 carats. Graf Diamonds was innovated in 1960 by Lawrence Graf. Now the company is a transnational jeweler whose home base is in London. All jewelry that comes from Graf follows the Kimberley process, an ethics model that doesn't allow the buying or use diamonds that would immortalize mortal suffering or conflict. Graf has a number of other precious jewels on the request, including the Whittlesback Graf Diamond valued at $80 million and the Graf Pink rated at $46.2 million. Number 1. The Hope Diamond, $250 million. The most precious and maybe the most well-known on jewel in the world is a 45.52 carat blue gravestone known as the Hope Diamond. Experts suppose its unusual blue coloring comes from contaminations caused by trace quantities of boron tittles. Away from its magical look, legends about the diamond's bad luck and curses have created the contrary effect, making it a jewel that has been largely sought after throughout history. These legends may have been stimulated by the strange fluorescence in the diamond. Its trace quantities of boron leave the gravestone glowing an amazing red when removed from all light roots. Before it came the Hope Diamond, this gravestone was indeed bigger than it's now. It's allowed to have come from the Golconda gold mines in southern India. In 1666, it was purchased by a French gem trader named Jean-Baptiste Tavernier and termed the Tavernier Blue. Not too long after, it was sliced and renamed the French Blue, under which name it was vended in 1668 by Tavernier to King Louis XIV. In 1792, the French blue was stolen from the princely family and cut again. The largest quarter of what remained of the diamond was termed hope upon its look in a London banking family's gem library in 1839. Their last nomenclature was hope. From also it had several possessors, but was ultimately vended to a youthful socialite millionaire from Washington titled Evelyn Walsh McLean in 1911. When she failed, after witnessing numerous disasters that are said to have approached from the diamond's curse, it was vended to another gem dealer named Harry Winston in 1949. He toured it for times before giving it to the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in 1958, where it still remains on exhibition.
This is the end of the video hope you liked it comment your thoughts on these jewels in the comments section below. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and turn on the bell notification so you can stay updated with our latest videos.